Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Here with some thoughts. <laughs> Here with some thoughts on um, an upcoming match at middleweight between champion Felix Sturm and challenger Matthew Macklin. Now, before I go further, just remember the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let me just say this um, out the gate. What's the worst place, the absolute worst place for an opponent to be when they're facing a guy who has a great jab, right? Where do you not want to be? I believe um, skillful fighters, when facing a guy with a great jab, um, look at Sergi Eisen Zurich's fight against Sergio Martinez, a great fighter, right? Zinzurich has one of boxing's best jabs. As he throws the jab, Martinez, who has foot speed, is outside the jab, right? He's far away, right? He's a guy who knows how to counter. Zinzurich comes forward, he's throwing the jab. Martinez is far away. Then as Zurich pulls the jab back, Martinez is able to then hop in with his assault. Right? Everything is timed around the jab. Martinez throws in lateral movement to keep Zurich turning. And of course, Zurich starts turning into hooks and an offensive juggernaut gets knocked down several times in that fight. Right? You need that kind of savviness to avoid a great jab. Another move people do, what Mike Tyson used to do, is he would literally come in like this, right? Bobbing and weaving. You would throw the jab. He would try to duck under the jab or duck to the side of the jab. Then he would come in with his punches. And, of course, while you're jabbing him, he's throwing hooks. And Mike Tyson, of course, hit like Mike Tyson, right? Now, ask yourself, what is Matthew Macklin going to do against Felix Sturm's jab? Forget the location of the fight. Forget everything else. What is Matthew Macklin going to do to Felix Sturm, um, you know, to avoid Felix Sturm's jab? And I believe that the answer is not much. I like Felix Sturm in this fight. I understand Macklin is a beast. I understand that Macklin has looked great against many fighters. I understand that he's sparred with Ricky Hatton and Ricky Hatton is really impressed. But again, understand that styles make fights. When Matthew, um, you know, Macklin is sparring with Ricky Hatton, understand Ricky Hatton isn't hitting him in the face with a Larry Holmes, Vladimir Klitschko level jab. And unfortunately for Macklin, Macklin strikes me as a mid-range hooker what that means is Macklin is going to be right in front of Felix Sturm, literally arm's length away, ready to get hit all night with that jab. And understand what a great jab is like. The guys who are able to throw a great jab like a great pitcher who, you know, isn't tipping his pitches and knows how to throw a changeup that looks just like a regular pitch. Guys who throw a great jab, the guy they're jabbing doesn't even know it's coming. In other words, the timing is so precise that there is little they could do to get out of the way of the jab. Right? Um, Miguel Vasquez throws a great jab. The 135 pound champion, the lightweight champion, throws a great jab. Understand, Felix Sturm's jab is world class. He doesn't even have to do anything else in the fight. Most guys can't avoid that jab. And of course, if Sturm wants to load up, and he rarely does this, but if he wants to load up, he could literally do a 1-2, the Klitschko's favorite combination, hit you with that lead jab, then come across with a straight right hand. He could do that all night on Matthew Macklin. Macklin just isn't elusive in the ring. In my opinion, he gets hit by too many punches. 
understand the Mike Tyson technique is a young man's technique, right? Even Mike Tyson himself wasn't effective doing it in his late 20s, right? That's a technique that only works when you're 21, 22, 23, when you have the reflexes and you have the kind of body where you could get low, stay low, you know, and literally hit guys up from a crouch. That's not Matthew Hatton. The Matthew Hatton I see is a mid-range hooker. He reminds me of Adrian Diacanu, the uh, light heavyweight. I believe he's going to be fed a steady diet of Felix Sturm jabs. I don't think this fight is that close. Hatton has, excuse me, uh, Macklin has a um, outside puncher's chance. Uh, maybe he gets lucky and catches Felix Sturm. If you're a big money gambler and you want to straddle the play, I would take Sturm to win, straddled against Matthew Backlin by KO. But um, what I'm expecting, if I had to make only one bet, and if I couldn't straddle, right, if I were just a uh, $5 better, and, um, you know, I didn't have enough at risk to want to buy the insurance, the one bet I would make in this fight is that Felix Sturm wins it by a few rounds, right? A great jab is a beautiful thing. Uh, when a guy knows how to do it, um, opponents literally fall apart. And here, Macklin just doesn't have the lateral movement, in my opinion, or the defensive skills uh, or the foot speed to avoid Felix Sturm's jab. I'm expecting this to be a jab fest. I like Sturm in this one. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube and visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.